Jonathan Franklin, UCLA sophomore running back. Johnny, uh, so good on that second drive, 31-yard uh, touchdown, 92 yards, and then it kind of seemed to fall apart. What, what were you guys doing so well there? Uh, we was being, being consistent on that, on that second drive, you know, and after that, it just all went downhill. Lack of consistency, you know, interception. And it just went downhill. We, we wasn't making enough plays, you know. We, that's what's been happening every game. Yeah. You know, we made, left too many plays out, the, out on the field. You know, when you think about when things go so right, I mean, does it almost make it more frustrating seeing how good you can be yeah. and then knowing that it's not like they shut you down for – Four quarters, they shut you down for three, really. Right, definitely. You know, when we're on track, when we're doing what we have to do, when we're executing, I feel we can be unstoppable. But it's just always the little things that get us that prevent them, prevent us from being the offense that we can be. What are the little things? You know, what are you feeling that that keeps tripping you up? Man, uh, just as a running back, you know, all, all I can speak about is me just missing reads, you know, not breaking tackles, you know, just not not doing the little things just, just to be great, you know. Uh, you know, in the zone blocking scheme, it seems like everything is is. You know, a foot. You know, if if you don't get that foot, you're right. going to get stopped. If you get it, you're not going to get stopped. It, it's such a small margin of error. Um, do you see teams kind of figuring out that foot and closing in a little bit quicker? Because it seemed like Washington met you at the line of scrimmage or met you at the ball a little faster after that drive. Yeah, definitely. Uh, after, after we was running the plays, they they understood what we were doing. You know, uh, we we just have to you know change it up a little bit, a little motions, just do do things a little different. Now, how do you feel like you know? I don't want to say what ownership do you have in it, but but what do you think you can do better in terms of the reads, in terms of picking which hole to run? I mean, is it as simple as you saying, okay, there it is, that's the one hole I have, or are you just not? Are they closing up on you a little too quickly? I just got to be great, you know, make plays when it when it needs to be made. You know, it can't be average. You know, I have to break tackles. You know, I have to be able to break tackles. I can't be tackled by one guy. So regardless of what the defense knows. We can't be average running backs over here if we yeah. want to make this offense successful. Um, you have two games left to, or, you know, knock on wood three for you guys uh, right, to, to get uh, 1,000 yards. Uh, what does that mean for you just to break that barrier, you know, when, if and when? It, it, definitely a blessing. I'm looking forward to it happening this Friday. You know, uh, yeah, I haven't been a 1,000 yard rusher since 2006, you know, so. I'm looking forward to it, man, and hopefully, God willingly, I'll get it this week. Does it, you know, does it signify something to you in terms of the, the, the improvement of the running game, do you not look at it, in ter I guess, that, that deep? Or is it just, hey, I had a good season? Or do you say, okay, we have a running game now. We're getting those yardage. We're getting those those milestones. Um, I feel our running game has so much improvement to do. You know, uh, so far this year, I just feel we've been average. You know, we, we left a lot of plays out there on the field. But uh, it, it's definitely a blessing just to reset, you know. But um, this has got to get better regardless. You know, yeah. uh, whatever, whatever I got to do to help the team win, I'm going to do that. You know, regardless how many yards it is. It's just 500 in the season, whatever it may be. You know, it's not about me. It's yeah. about my team. Uh, Arizona State coming up next and then USC. What do you see out of Arizona State that, that makes you think that there's, you know, some greatness to be had? Man, they, they, they have a great defense, definitely. Uh, guys who love the game of football, who run around, who love to tackle, you know, who's not afraid to be physical. They're, it's going to be a great team in the future. You know, they got one uh, perfect who's <laughs> pretty scary looking. Right. Well, um, <laughs> you know, now that I know who he is, uh, what, you know, what does he do uh, so physically? He just looks like he's kind of everywhere. Uh, he just loves the game of football. He plays with a passion. And when, and when you love the game of fo football and when you're playing with a passion, you're going to separate yourself from a lot of people. Uh, you you nervous for one of his uh, kind of uh, – <laughs> Extra physical hits, we'll Not call it all. that. Not at all, it's football. It's football. You ready for it? Yes, sir. All right. Thanks, man. Jonathan Franklin, UCLA running back.